Hey guys, welcome to the Hyperlink where we cover the latest star season news as they drop. Star season alpha 3.18 point B patch recently dropped and there's some interesting pieces that I'd like to cover with you guys. Before we move forward, I'd like to give a shout out to my Patreons and channel members. Thank you guys once again for your continual support. Alright, so star season alpha 3.18 B uh, patch dropped and um... There's some interesting things the the patch note is essentially the same as the initial one but there is a few things that they did add that i thought is worth mentioning okay so um as they mentioned in the earlier uh the first patch the initial the objective is testing the initial login flow um logging into the universe spawning a ship and general stability right they also mentioned that in this test, we are looking for players to log in, navigate to the hangar, spawn a ship as well, um, as well as general build stability. If the build proves stable, we would love to have players to explore and test out the bounty mission. So it looks like there's going to be an updated bounty mission, it looks like, um, as well as updated restricted area design and possibly the new FPS mission using the Orison platform. So that's that's different from what they mentioned in the earlier patch build, okay? So in addition, the 3.17.4, that looks like there's gonna be a new racetrack coming in for IAE, uh, which is a 17.4 patch. So this um, new racetrack is most likely gonna be at New Babbage. So now this is all speculation. We'll see when the patch actually drops, but we'll see. Um, some interesting things that we did also find is there's going to be new uh, consumables that can be used on other players. So we're talking about a sedative. So it says uh, Rusima Rehabilitation System. So this is a medical consumable designed by RRS for field application. This single use device injects a fast acting sedative into the target's body that will incapacitate the subject for a short duration preventing them from hurting themselves or others and the next one is going to be a non-lethal flashbang called the shutter flashbang so now this one is also from Rusimov rehabilitation system and um, it's a it's a grenade uh, area of effect device and um, the shutter flashbang is the cornerstone of R&R's line of non-lethal armaments. The device is designed to temporarily incapacitate targets within its blast radius, disorienting their senses. That's interesting. That's going to be very effective if uh, this is used on players. So that's going to be interesting. So it looks like bounty hunting is going to be uh, ever more interesting. I um, mean, it looks like they may be uh, um, a way where you're going to have to pick actually take the target to a location to complete the actual mission so you're going to need to knock them out and take them with you so that's going to be interesting um a few timbits they did uh notice some fire and smoke tests in some of the images that they did showcase uh, which looks interesting so um i can't wait to actually see that in the game finally and um a little bit about the cargo refactor there is it looks like there's going to be some high and low demands in the kiosk so um, hopefully not just a kiosk. I want to see uh, an app that shows all the high and low demands in the in the given area. Like let's say Hurston, I want to see all the high and low demands in in um, a screen where you can actually see all of the commodities. Um, similar to Elite Dangerous, all the general MMO um, MMO games, they kind of have that kind of thing. So. I would like to see something like that. All right. Once again, you guys let me know your thoughts down below. I will see you on the next one.